Welcome once again to The Last Alternative, that one program that have got gardeners in the house to, you know, sweep away some of the beliefs you have and make it right for you. Yes, as usual, I've got my two amazing gardeners in the house this evening. Let me get started with Pastor Akudo. Good evening to you, sir. Good evening, Pija. Hi, Garden City. Gardeners in the Garden City. <laughs> I also have the barrister in the house who has not smiled since he walked in. I, I think there's a reason. But good evening to you, Barrister Kara. Good evening, Pija. Okay. Good evening, Garden City. All right. So today, uh, we get to continue with what we had last week, um, the four Gospels. But we don't want to just jump right into it. Um, apart from being um, a pastor or pastors in the house, we also have a legal advisor. We also have... Um, should I say counselor? Okay. <laughs> and they want to, you know, like last week, we made our position true on the protests going on in the nation. And this week, um, we also want to, you know, take a position on the Lekki, um, Chilgate shooting and all of that. Okay. Um, Barista Kema would have, uh, uh, would want to say some things concerning it before we go over to discuss what we have for today. So the very first question um, is, uh, talking about the whole Lekki Tolgate shooting, um, where did we miss it as a people? What would you, what would you say to that? It's, so, it's really so sad. I, um, I've not been myself. I've not been myself and then I've been so sad. I saw what happened that on the 20th. I couldn't sleep. And um, it is to the depths of hell. It is evil. It is unconscionable. It is sacrilegious. It is, it is evil. This level of evil is 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 sui generis is on a class of his own can only be exhibited or demonstrated by devil himself and um i've i've wept i've cried for uh youths that are asking for what is due them what they ought to get they're not asking for a golden elephant, they're not asking for octopus, they're not asking for white shark, they're asking for what is due them by the constitution. They're asking their leaders that they elected into power to give them the dividends of democracy. And we're protesting peacefully. Then we had some elements from the, the pit of hell removing the lie in order for them to kill people's children, our heroes. They died there for you and for me. So it is a sad one. And I have an issue with some people. I'll, I'll, I'll go to what I will say, but I will say this. I have an issue with, yes, at one point they said the hoodlums came and did what they did. But you must understand something, that the youth of every nation is a nerve of the nation and the nerves are connected. Every part of your body has a nerve. <laughs> a nerve controls your eye blinking. A nerve controls your hand switching. A nerve controls you sneezing. There's a nerve. So you cannot kill 12 people or about that number in cold blood in the manner at which you kill them as if you were fighting war and expect to have peace. They all will call it medicine, they all will call radioclopathy. It's a radioclopathic effect. Because when you touch one nerve, you can have a nerve injury in your neck that will affect your leg or your hand. So these nerves are connected. So what you're seeing is a radioclopathic effect. And the right thing to do, the one that made me go haywire, was the address of Mr. President. Now, to the question you asked, how do we, how do we miss it? <laughs> As a people, it is sad. First, we... <laughs> oh, yeah, we show mercy. That address, that address, 
if I talk about the address, DSS will look for me. But um, at this point in time, we are not afraid to die. Because we have died in the Messiah. The life we live is not only the liberty, it's not liberty in us. We speak the truth boldly without fear, regardless of whose ox is going. Because posterity will judge us. My children come in after me and say, Daddy, what did you say? What did you do at that point in time? But at the right time, we shall speak, and our voice will be, we will speak, and we will speak loud and clear, and the world will hear us. But the question you ask, how did we miss it as a people? First, we have to go to the Genesis, the, book, the beginning of the books. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, let's hear what the Bible says when Elohim quitted man. It said, where Elohim gave man money, and the Elohim said, let us make man in our own image and after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the earth, and over the cattle, and over every, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Listen, when Elohim created man, this was man's line of action. This was his jurisdiction. Man should have dominion over one, the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over cattle, over all the earth, over and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth on the face of man's dominion. Is into all these things, and man dominion is not only to have rulership over his follower. That's number one. Now let's also see what the Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 6, 5 to 7. 6, 5 to 7. Genesis. The reason for all this bloodshed and bloodbath. Man wants to rule over man. Man wants to decide what you get and when you get it. Can you imagine? You will have palliatives that were bought for the people. You stopped them in a place and people were crying for food and they were shut down, they were locked down. Instead of you to release the palliative when they need it, you want to give them when you want to give them. How? What level of wickedness is this? This wickedness is in a class of his own. It is in the... The devil self who says to Fiakwa, the devil himself, that bog, bog non, you say, this, is, this type is unknown to him. And the food you bought as palliative, some of them has gone cold, cake. What is your, what will be your benefit? So let's look at the book of Genesis chapter 6, um, 5 to 7. Let's hear what it says. He said, and Yahweh, now after man fell, he said, and Yahweh saw the wickedness of man. And Yahweh saw, saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And that every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. This is this this is what is happening in Nigeria. The wickedness of this our leaders is going every day continually. Their wickedness has wings. Their wickedness can fly. It is it's their, 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 their wickedness is you know, innovational. It is following the trend of science. Their wickedness is they they stay and concord wickedness, and they are not a. They don't have milk of conscience anymore. Their heart has been sold to the devil. Yahweh saw this. He said, man is only permitted after the fall to rule over his own house. Not a fellow man. You can also see that in Genesis chapter 3 verse 16. Let's look at it. 16b. When Yahweh was speaking to the woman. He says, and unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy soul and thy conception in soul. Thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. So the quest is man wanting to rule his fellow man. Wanting his fellow man to call him God. That is just it. If not, there's no reason for a man to pack full stuff that can feed the city mm -hmm. and lock it up when the city is in <laughs> When the city is hungry. You just want the people to keep when you, you come, it gives you one indomie. You not take it and you say, Thank you, my Lord. You bow down, kneel down, and he's excited. That is just pleasing. So, that was our purpose. I couldn't take it off from here. Um, it's always good hearing from you, Fred, because as you always speak, thoughts keep coming on. Look at if we look at um, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5, we are not supposed to trust man. Mm. We are not supposed to. Mm. Because when we look up to man, man will always fail you. Look at Jeremiah 17, verse 5. Thus says Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusts in man, and makes flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from 
Yahweh. Our focus on these leaders thinking that we can get help from them is to our own detriment. Mm, please. Very, very important. Based on the palliatives you are talking about, as you were talking about it, if we look at 1 John chapter 3, verse 16, sometimes when you speak, I will have something to say, but as I hear you then, I'm shifted. My spirit will be moved to something else. Hereby perceive with the love of the Almighty, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. 17. Please pay attention. But whoso hath this watch good and sees his brother have need and shutteth up his bowels of compassion for him, how dwelleth the love of the Almighty in that person? This, I don't need to call names to say that this person is evil or this person is this. Let the word of Yahweh speak. Please read it. Read it again. First John chapter three, verse seventeen. Who but whoso hath this word good? Whether governor, whether house of rest member, whether counselor, whether me, whether me, whether, me, whether, me, whether, me, uh-huh. whether you, uh-huh. whether pizza, whether we have a whosoever have and sees his brother have need and shut up his bowels of compassion for him. How dwelleth the love of the Almighty in that person? Why are we surprised? Is it that we are not reading the scripture? Are we saying that Yahweh is a liar? We are surprised, we are surprised because this level of wickedness has gone beyond one I, I saw the warehouses. Eh? See the food stacked up. Men were looking like ants, ants inside the warehouse. Okay, the scripture being fulfilled. Say, Cursed be the man. See, look at if you look at go back there, it says, For he shall be like the heat in the desert, and shall not see when good comes, mm. but shall inhabit the past places in the wilderness, mm. in a salt land, and not inhabited. Mm. That is the condition mm. and nature of a man that is trusting man, thinking that man he will get up from man. It's highly impossible. The scripture says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, mm-hmm. but against principalities and against the powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in the high places. What pains me most is I always try to blame the ministers. Barrister, do you know Sundays, on Sundays, mm-hmm. these men, these leaders, will go, to, go, to, go, to, go to church and they will give them front seat. It is sad. That is the position. <laughs> Don't give them front seat. Front row of Chodiah in a seat. And, and that the camera will be capturing them. And the palliatives are there. And the palliatives. He got locked up in the warehouse. My, my God. Oh. It's so sad. My a God. man called me one day. And he said, Brother Kudo, let me ask you something. Satan and man who is more wicked than brother. It's man. <laughs> Like this man, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm serious. This is this. A man called me, brother Kudo. Let me ask you something. Don't be offended, man. This, this issue has not started. You will be a new witness. When this man, I, I looked at him and said, "How can man learn wickedness if it is not from Satan? Satan is using man." <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> There are men that are using Satan. They are in Nigeria. Our leaders in Nigeria are using Satan. Satan is not using them. Satan now is learning his, his <laughs> tactics on them because yeah. yes now. <laughs> I'm telling you now, <laughs> Satan is old. These no, people are more dead. Because <laughs> because <laughs> no, no, listen. The Bible. Satan is old. He's an old liar. An old liar. He doesn't have th- tricks again. He's innovative people. They are wickedness is on innovation now. You know, they bought innovation into it. Yes. You know, there is so much to say about this. If we look at, if we look at, uh, if we continue. These ministers of God, <laughs> Yahweh will judge them. To me, I'm not blaming the leaders. 
No man. These ministers of God. It will come to a point. We'll call, I will call their name up. They should take me to court. I will go to court. I will dig it out. It will come to a point. I will come. Even if the way friend refuse to take me, I will go on Twitter. I will go on Instagram. We will call their names. These ministers of God will call them by their names and let them go to court. We will go to court and wait for them. Because it is time. Listen. They say evil pride when good men keep quiet. We will not keep quiet any longer. Somebody must say the truth now. You see a wicked man come to church after keeping this kind of palliative on Sunday tomorrow and your life stay funny. Hey, you do that, you are, you are, oh, Yahweh yeah, show mercy. <laughs> Look, if we go back to uh, uh, First John chapter 3, for this is the message that we have heard from the beginning that we should love one another. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil, and his brother's righteous. Marvel not, my brethren. If the world hates you, we know that we have passed from death unto life, because we love the brethren. He that loves not his brother abided in death. Mm. That's where I'm going. Mm. See, for you, a man I saw on television, a man said, how can one kill somebody after you kill the person, you go back to your house As and, you know and, and no, 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 and hug your own children. Yes, your wife. Hug your wife. Probably you two will go to bed and make love, and somebody did not touch you. And that is, you, that is. There are certain things, tears. Eh? There are certain things that make you cry. It's so sad. How can that be? He that love not his brother. But let us focus on one important thing. My brothers and my sisters. There is something that I want to say in the book of Luke chapter 19. Mm. Yahushua said something, Luke 19, 42. If thou had known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the day which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from your eyes. Because that's where we don't want to be distracted about the wickedness of man because that has already portrayed to us by the scripture. But what belongs to our peace? Mm. That's what we need to let our brothers know. What belongs to our peace today matters a whole lot. Because if we find where how we can get peace, we'll be okay. And later um, barrister here on that one. Alright, and let's even get to move on because um, we're still on um, the happenings and all of that before we get into what we have for today. Now, we know we've gotten into this situation, we've gotten way deep into some of these issues and all of that. How can we get out of this? What exactly do you think is our remedy out of the situation? Let's go back to Yahushua. <clears throat> Let's see what Yahushua has to say. Let's go back to your show. Let's look at John chapter 16. John 16, let's look at 32. What your show said. Look, look at from verse 32. It said, Behold, our comet year is now come, and it shall be scattered every man to his home, and shall leave me alone, and yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. 33. These things have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace, mm. and in the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Wow. Peace can only come in your sure. Hallelujah. You no know wonder the Bible says when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. If you have a righteous man, what will it take a righteous man to do what they ask him? Like this. What they ask it for, what Okay, I'm, I'm taking the bar higher. A man of conscience. A man that loves his... Okay, I'm taking... I'm talking. A man that loves his children and his wife. A man that loves his fellow man. No man can love except you and be with him. So he's, yeah, he's, that's a righteous man. Yes. The peace we are looking for can only come in Yahushua. The peace we are looking for can only come in Yahushua. Now... Now we have to, the Bible talks about the sons of Issachar, which were men that un, had the understanding of the times and the season. The book of 1 Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. 
For us to have this enduring peace, we have to understand, like the sons of Issachar, we have to know what Yahweh is doing now, what is Yahweh's plan, so we can take advantage of it and run with it. We have to be like the sons of Issachar that knows the time and the season. Now, what is Yahweh doing now? What is Yahweh's plan for redemption now? What is the way out now? Is forget listening. All those people tell the way out. Okay, uh, you should go to church on Sunday. They say the way out has come now. Yeah, out in the air, Jesus. Amen. The way out has come. It's not by declaration. <laughs> it's not by declaration. I I worked on Twitter. A man of God, a renowned man of God in this country, he has been saying that you have to pay tithe and offering. That you have to pay a tithe and give your offering so that things will be good for you. This renowned man. Now the man has turned and now telling the youth now that um, they should go and fight for their right. But you told them that tithe and offering when they pay tithe and pay offering that God will come and fight for them. Peace will come. Why are you changing the goalposts now that is late? You told them when they pay to the offering that everything will be done for them, they will have um, heaven and earth. Now you are the one. You have changed the goalpost. It means you lie to them all this while. You scam them, you scam, and took the little money they had. You scam their old mothers, scam their old fathers, took the little they have, and now you have done telling them to go and fight the government so they will kill them. And when they kill them, you'll be excited and you'll be happy. Yahweh will not forgive you. All those ministers of God, I don't, I don't ministers of whoever called them, I don't know if they flashed, if they, if they Yahweh flashed them or called them, I don't know how they got themselves called that has deceived our nation, that has kept it to the place where it is now, and have the level of frustration and, and degradation where it is now, yeah, we will judge them. This year is the year of their judgment. They shouldn't worry. After the people will end this government, the next thing will be end them. After the people end these leaders that are doing what they are doing to them, the next rhetoric will be end these people, end this man, end these pastors, end the, they will come to your house, Leave for now. See what they did to the man. One of them went to, I think, um, Italy or where. They chased him down. They will chase you. You have nowhere to run. You are listening to me, Minister of. You have not repent. Your time of repentance is now. You have not repent and change. If not, they will come for you. They will come for you. You can see how they, they, they deposed the king and Oba. Took his. <laughs> took his offer and OG. The, the powers behind him are the way when the boys came. Don't worry. Yahweh's day of judgment is coming. Change and repent. If not, that will come for you. So we have to be like the sons of Issachar. That knows the time of season. But we must understand that there is a God of this world. There is a God of this world that the Bible talks about in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 3. He said, If our gospel be healed, is he to them that are lost in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not less the glorious gospel of Yeshua and Mashiach shall never be saved. There is a God of this world. Now what we do here is fulfilling the book of Second Timothy, chapter two, verse twenty-five. Let's go there, man of God. Can you help me? Yes, what we do there, every what we come here to do every day, six thirty to seven thirty. We are not. It is not free. We are paying money to ensure that you get this message. To ensure that we bring you out from mentors, this mental and spiritual and slavery. Until we emancipate you out, you understand what we are talking about. Read that scripture for me. Yes, uh, I'm read, I'll read from verse 24. Please, sir. And the servant of Yahweh must not try, mm. but be gentle unto all men, mm. apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that are that oppose themselves. Mm. If Almighty Peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging mm. of the truth, mm. and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. Who are taken captive by him at his will. So if you listen to me, I've been taken captive by the devil at his will. This gospel is light. When we speak here every Saturday, whether I like it or not, that black or cool light sprouts to it. Yeah. And there's an opening in the darkness. And the next Saturday, you listen again, the opening becomes bigger. It becomes bigger. You begin to ask questions. And when you begin to ask questions that these ministers that have, that have kept you in darkness cannot answer, your mind opens. Your mind opens up. And that is how you are delivered 
from the God of this world that has blinded your mind, which are blind your mind to these ministers that call themselves ministers of Yahweh, which are not according to Yahweh's gospel, but has kept you for their own belly and their purpose's sake. Let me allow Pastor Kutu to take a bite. Okay, yes. Still in that um, office of peace, what is for our peace? And we have established the fact that Yahushua is our peace. And how do we get that peace in? The scripture says, being justified by faith, mm. we have peace with the Almighty. Hallelujah. Through Yahushua HaMashiach, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein He called us. Mm. We need peace. And peace can only come through faith in the finished work mm. of Yahushua. When my daughter visited me, oh no, she called me about about a month ago. She said something to me. She said, Daddy, I went to a church, but I thank the Father that I can rightly divide the word. I went to church, and the man preached a good message, but the words were not, or the scriptures were not rightly divided. But she got something, and that thing she got, I want to share with us. She... We, she told me about First Samuel chapter eight, verse five through seven or nine. But I'm just going to pick it really very fast because of time. And then all the elders of Israel gathered from verse four themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said give us a king to judge us and Samuel prayed unto Yahweh and Yahweh said unto Samuel hearken unto the voice of the people in all that they say unto thee for they have not rejected thee but they have rejected me that I should reign over them in this dispensation of grace Yahweh has made Yahushua head and if you don't want to come into the body, just like Israel rejected Yahushua in the wilderness, the Almighty to rule over them to be their king, you are rejecting the will of Yahweh. The only place he said, in me you have peace. Come out from the world. Come out from among them. He called us by the gospel to come out and into the body. The Bible said the name of Yahweh is what? The name of Yahweh is a strong, a strong tower. Mm. The, the righteous run, run into it and they are saved. You want to be saved? Don't rely on man. Man cannot give you peace. When they say peace, 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 Four. sudden destruction Four. will come upon them. The issue is what is Yahweh doing? Just like Barrister said, what is Yahweh doing today? How can we have peace? Peace can only come through the finished work. When we figure out in this dispensation, as he said, the children of Issachar, in, in second or first Corinthians, chapter, second Chronicles, second Chronicles, mm. twelve thirty-two. Yes. The men of Issachar, they have understand the what time. Twelve thirty-two. Yes. Chronicles. So you must know the time. This is the time of grace. What is Yahweh doing? Yahweh is calling people out into the body. Mm. If we look at First John, First John. Chapter 5, verse 4. For whosoever is born of the Almighty overcome the world. Mm. And this, this is the victory that overcome the world, yes, even our faith. our faith. Don't trust. Don't be surprised. The wickedness of man, the wickedness of man, according to uh, Genesis chapter 6, excellent. Continually growing. Every day, they, they increase it. So, but. The only place we can find peace, please, my brothers and my sisters, I'm not against protesting or anything, but we cannot really achieve peace because here we cannot lie. There is no peace, whether it's in America, whether it's in Britain, whether it's in France, whether it's in Germany, there is no peace until the Prince of Peace sit on the throne of peace to rule over man. In first in John chapter 3 verse 18. John chapter 3 verse 18. This 
trip. Just speak expression. Okay. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. For everyone that doeth evil hates the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that does truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are brought in the Almighty. If you think about this, I was discussing with Paris while we were in the house. When they wanted to do evil, to the point physically, they went and removed the, the, light, the light and the camera. The, the camera <coughs> turned the light off so that darkness would shadow, so that they can perform their evil. Can you imagine that? They can do evil. Their heart is evil. But when they want to give uh, one night or during this thing, they will, they will, they will call television. Television. Call television. Call television. See, see, television. Look at what they are doing. They will call them. Can you imagine? But when, when they wanted to take life, when they wanted to take life, what did they do? They shot. They turned so that they nobody don't see them. Nobody. They don't want anybody to see them. Like Yahweh sees them. He Yahweh sees in the darkness. He, he sees in darkness. Some pit, someone tells us, where can I hide? I'm telling you. From him, you can't. Uh, Yahweh, Yahweh too have exposed them to the people there. Yahweh now exposed them. Uh -huh. We have all seen them. So it is, it is. Let us not even worry about them. Let us worry about us, ourselves. Take, find peace. Let us find the peace of the Almighty first. Make sure that that peace rule in our hearts and minds. The victory will come. The victory must come. He has given us the victory. Let me tell you. One of us, the members of the body, according to Ephesians, says, to the intent that now to the principality.